So Nathan, it's been confirmed today that Glasgow City Council have approved the works to upgrade Scotland Stadium, which will include the installation of an artificial playing surface. You must be delighted with that news. It's uh, great news, great opportunity for the club, uh, given the challenges of last year and, and, and frankly previous years that we've had with the pitch at Scotland. Uh, we are very pleased to have uh, have a bit of security and know that we're going to have an excellent pitch uh, going forward for, for the club's development. And a lot of work has gone on behind the scenes over the last few months uh, with a number of different partners involved. Yeah, it's been a, a very good example of a coalition and working together. I think we get excellent support um, from Glasgow City Council and Glasgow Life, who are big supporters of sport across the city, but also supporters of Glasgow Warriors. Um, and also the athletics community have come on board and, uh, and supported this project you know, through Scottish Athletics, uh, Victoria Park Athletics Club, etc. It's, uh, it's been a really good coalition. I think everyone's, I think sport's going to benefit. Why was an artificial surface chosen rather than a surface like BT Murrayfield, which is a hybrid a mixture between grass and artificial? Uh, the hybrid surface is excellent. I think the pitch at BT, BT Murrayfield has won some awards recently. Um, it plays it plays very well. Um, Swansea Ospreys have have a similar surface down in Swansea, um, but it is a very costly surface. We actually uh, took on the same. We actually hired the same consultant uh, that did the pitch at BT Murrayfield. And when we looked at all the all the options, we decided that the best option uh, for Glasgow Warriors and for Scotland would be to go for a, a fully artificial pitch. And what do the players think of the artificial surface? Uh, they like it. They're positive. They're excited about about it. They're seeing this as um, uh, further investment uh, into the club and into them. Uh, we do train on it quite a lot. We have a we have a 3G pitch here at Scotland already that we train on. Uh, during the bad weather uh, in the winter months, we use the indoor 3G at Torrey Glen in here in the city. We also obviously play on it at Cardiff Blues. Uh, a couple of our players, uh, Mike Blair, Rory Clegg, uh, played on it down at Newcastle Falcons. We've actually done a, a training session down there. Uh, we did the training session at Mar College uh, early in the season. We've, we've looked at and done a training session at the new pitches going up at, at Harry Watt University. Uh, we had the A game at Broadwood. So there's, uh, you know, um, and, and the game's obviously at Rugby Park, which were successful and we, we won. So there's, there's plenty of experience in the squad from, from playing and training on these pitches. Has that experience from the players and also, uh, I presume, homework by the club helped you decide what surface is going to be laid here? Yeah, that was a big part of it. The experiences of, of the guys actually playing on it, but also we, you know, we we've gone down and visited Saracens uh, on a couple of occasions to to understand and learn from from how you know they were the first ones to do it. What are the lessons they they learned? Uh, they also have a, a share their venue with athletics as well. So we wanted to learn uh, from them how that how that relationship works, and it was very positive. We spoke to players from the Scotland Sevens team. Some of our players played in Vancouver and the Sevens on that surface. And I think what we're what we're going to have is is we've tried to take the best the best bits of from all those and, and create a uh, what I think what we believe is going to be a very a very good surface to play on. As well as being a huge advantage and positive for rugby, it's also going to help the athletics community as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the partnership with athletics means that I mean if you look back uh, over this winter and previous winters, um, the pitch was at times uh, unplayable or unusable to, to any sport. Um, it was it was generally waterlogged, and, and so what we're going to have now is a is a surface that the athletes can can use for their training. It'll add extra capacity. Uh, their youth uh, can use it on their training nights to to run on. Their their senior athletes can use it for some of their warm up, and so it now adds extra capacity and extra capability for them for them to train on. In addition, in addition to that, uh, there'll be no more need uh, on the main pitch for a, a summer remedial. Uh, to strip it down and regrow the grass so it should open up uh, a longer window for athletics during the summer. And, and also we're, we're now creating a, a new throwing area uh, for events. So you know the higher the higher end events or the, the, the athletics events that take place here at Scotston will have a dedicated throwing area um, for the throw, for the throwers to compete in the field events. And they can also do some, some training from that from that area as well. As well as providing our players with a fantastic surface all year round, what other advantages do you see this surface bringing to the club? Yeah, I think that was a, a big part in our decision to go for the artificial was it would enable us to, to do some other, other rugby activities that could help grow the club. Uh, we had over, I think, 55 different clubs and schools participated, at, played games here at Scotland during our match nights last year. Um, that The 3G will now enable us to, to even add, to increase that capacity. Uh, we 
curtain raiser fixtures, uh, weekend fixtures, camps. There's, there's a number of opportunities for us um, to do that. We're in discussions with um, Scottish Rugby and other parties about bringing some extra, extra matches here, additional games here, or additional events, um, which could be really exciting. But we've also learned from talking to the other clubs that maintenance and looking after the pitch is important. Uh, it isn't something you can just hammer on each and every day if you want it to maintain elite performance rugby pitch. You do have to maintain it uh, and take some time and, and give it a and give it a rest and just make sure you look after it. So while we are looking to add to the capacity, we're also going to keep that in mind. And, and the games that will be here will maybe be a little bit special. We'll want to promote those as being matches played at the home of Glasgow Warriors. So all in all, fantastic news for the club. And you hope to have this new pitch in place for the new rugby season, which starts in September? Yeah, we, we're expecting work to start next week, uh, as soon as next week. We're, like I said, a lot of work's going on to get to this point and get us to be ready to go. And, and it's crucial that we're, we're ready to go for the start of the season. So uh, all going well, we'll, we'll be looking at a nice, a nice brand new pitch uh, to kick off the new season here at Scotson.